We have incredible technology at our fingertips and can contact just about anyone from anywhere at any time. But love, romance and dating have had to adapt. Whether you met someone online or have developed feelings for someone, you know, IRL, texting and social media are undeniably present in our love lives. So let's look at some ways you can effectively flirt through text. Number 1. Don't get ahead of yourself. Let's get the basics out of the way. Some people struggle to avoid coming across as creepy. So before you begin flirting over text, please just remember that behind the screen is another person. Some people will tell you all girls are like this, or all guys want that. But the truth is, you can't generalize. Respect is always the best attitude. Try to be light-hearted and friendly. This will also help you to get to know them better before you try any actual flirting. Number two, sharing is caring. Open your heart to them a little and send them the things you find funny or beautiful. Music is an especially powerful thing to share. Tell them what it is that you hear in it and why it makes you think of them. The music we share early on in relationships can be integral in forming a relationship identity. It also promotes intimacy and contributes to building strong memories that can last a lifetime. But remember not to give them homework. Don't tell them they have to listen to a whole album or that they have to watch a whole movie just because you told them to. You don't want them to be scared to open their DMs from you because you've sent them a million memes and a million reminders to listen to that song you sent them. On that note, you definitely shouldn't send them things they obviously won't like. If they are really into K-pop, maybe don't share the most soul-rupturing black metal you've ever heard. Number 3. Sincere Compliments In this crazy future, we can find ways to compliment each other easier than ever. If they are active on their Instagram stories, that could be a way to get flirtatious. Maybe they posted a cute video of them going out. You can compliment them on their outfit or hair. Just approach it with sincerity. Depending strongly on what your relationship is like, and if they are likely to reciprocate, you could spice it up and compliment them more suggestively. Remember, you don't want to come across as creepy. Number 4. Don't be scared to tease them. A bit of sarcasm and wit can go a long way. Flirting is best when you're both comfortable. Sharing a sense of humor can make things a lot more comfortable. Teasing isn't the same as criticism or bullying. You can tease them without pointing out their insecurities or creating new ones. Challenge them to something fun or tease them about a positive physical feature. Emojis are your friend and can help you express your playfulness. Number 5. Talk about the future. I don't mean speculating on what humanity would look like 1 million years from now. I'm talking about your future, together. Now, I know that sounds daunting and maybe even presumptuous. But it doesn't have to be. It can be something as simple as, we have to see that band live together some days. Sociolinguistics researcher Christine Mortensen explains that what she calls imagined togetherness is a necessary way to express romantic interest. It's a good way to gauge how interested they are in you while protecting yourself from full-on rejection. Number 6. Have some inside jokes. After some time, you'll find yourself feeling quite comfortable with your special person. You'll have a stronger sense of what they like and don't like, and importantly, what they find funny or not. Having inside jokes is an extremely difficult thing to force. It has to be funny to both of you. The more personal, the better. It can be more difficult for those who are long distance and can only talk through text. It helps to have shared experiences to make jokes around, but luckily, in the age of the internet, there are many ways to share digital experiences. Our last point for today might make you roll your eyes, but bear with us. Considering everything we've looked at today, there's a finishing touch. A cherry on top, that is. Number 7. Remember to really flirt. Friends can share songs compliment each other and share inside jokes. So if you're interested in them, don't just stop at the niceties. Be consistent. When you can sense the chemistry, try to include the romantic spice. Sociologist Dinah Pinsky notes that text can change from friendly to flirtatious through the use or selection of emojis. Between the jokes and the teasing and the sharing, make sure you tell them that you were thinking about them. You can even take things to the next level by video calling from time to time. 
I bet by now you're already thinking of a few messages to send to that special person. Remember to be considerate of them and be conscious of how well you two know each other. If we helped you feel a little more prepared to start flirting through text, why not leave a like? And remember to subscribe to Psych2Go for more tips like this. You've got this.